time. I shouldn't have left you. What? Without a dope beat to step to. Step, 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 step. What's up, y'all? It is I, Key, and welcome back to Kiki's Critique. It's been a little minute, y'all. Just a little minute. But we are here for our pajama jam, okay? I got my pajamas on, and I am ready to curl up and talk to you about that word. You saw that title. We are being resilient in this season. We're using resilience to activate and to complete our mission, if you will. It is a new season. School is about to be in session, and I have left y'all without a dope beat to step to, so we are here, and we're getting ready to re-step. Grab your pen, grab your pad, grab your cold tea and your cold mantra, and curl up with me, because it's all about resilience, baby. Let's hit it. Looking for the flaws here. Is it what was thought? Maybe they flying on here. Him wishing death on me, but couldn't be the Paul Bear. So they bear witness. I'm a hand on my business. Got my hand on this vision. The mission to make a difference. The kitchen ain't hot as I am. In and I do the dishes. Do it, I build the bridges that bring the fruit to fruition. Once I started, I finished. No matter how long I fall, the trip be said. I go, I know you probably don't really know me yet. So I go inside, don't push it out. I built a bomb and I'm taking to put it down already I didn't have preparation, why you think I'm impatient Instead of sitting here waiting to have my feet on the pavement I'ma save it them days that you were gazing in amazement Later remember the same conversation Cause, Cause we keep on grinding And I'm saying that's no matter what life pitch batter up and we keep on thriving If you started from the bottom, ain't no matter cause you got it, oh yeah We keep on climbing Till you make Critique Curl. It is I, Key, and welcome to Kiki's Critique. I want to say welcome because it's been a little minute and we are back. We are kicking it off in August with being resilient. Yes, we are talking about it. If this is your first time here, I just want to say thank you for being here today. I hope you like my vibe and I hope you like this content and I hope you want to be a part of the critique crew. If you do, and I know that you do, so you might as well just go ahead. You already started, child. You might as well go ahead, sir, and hit that subscribe button, okay, and the notification bell so you will be notified every time a new video is uploaded, okay? And just hit that like button halfway through because you are about to like this content because this is a season, y'all. And Critique Crew, y'all already know. What's up, y'all? We here. We here, y'all. Okay? We are back and we are in the building and we are kicking off this new season of our lives like strong with force like never before. Because I don't know if y'all been experiencing a whole lot of foolishness going on in your lives as you are pursuing and pushing towards you know goals and i want i i, I want to really i've been thinking about this 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 whole this word of the month and 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 because god just brought it to me and he just kept saying resilience you know be resilient in this season i need for you to be resilient and i'm like well god as long as we're here aren't we automatically resilient you know, are we automatically, we operate automatically in a certain resilience because we are here, because we are alive today. We made it through yesterday, okay? Some of us just barely made it through yesterday by the hairs of our chinny chin chin, okay? Barely survived it, but we're here. So that, that means we have a natural resilience, whether we are uh, uh, just, you know, deep in our faith and, 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 and you know, pray on a regular basis or we just operating in the natural universal laws of the land we have a natural resilience if somebody is coming at you to attack you you most likely is going to fight okay you're going to fight to survive you're going to fight to be to to make it through that thing to get to the other side of the thing which is to be able to walk away alive okay and one piece hopefully and so i mean i've been thinking about this because 
I've been really having to not just operate in the natural resilience that we have as human beings to survive, but I also had to just kind of go in deeper. And I, and I believe that's what God was showing me um, through this whole just teaching and just preparing to talk to you guys today. It's just like, okay, I, I need for you to go deeper in your resilience because, you know, there is an enemy who is after you and he will use people, places, and things to try to come and distract you. We have a natural enemy that, that we even operate in our self-sabotaging ways, okay? The things that we do to ourselves, that uh, the decisions that we make, uh, not being plugged in to God, maybe not taking enough time, not, you know, there's things that we can do as people to align ourselves with purpose. And we know this to be true. We know this to be uh, a, a, a fact because we can see uh, people in our lives, you know, whether it's on television, whether it's on the radio, whether it's someone at the store, or, you know, we can see people in our lives that have operated in certain laws and, and resilience to make it to that thing. And some of us, it may take a little bit longer than others, maybe to, to get to certain places in our lives um, or to accomplish certain goals, but I believe that if we are resilient in this season of our lives, each benchmark that of life's journey that we are destined to make it, we will make it. But it's, it's not about tomorrow, it's about today. We need to be resilient for today. Y'all, I, I mean, I'm so full of this. Okay, let me, okay, so let's look at the definition because y'all already know. It's all about getting some understanding, as much understanding as we can get, okay? Because a lot of things, you know, we we, we as people, you know, we want to we wanna understand everything. But I, I believe that there's a lot of things that we will never understand, okay, until we get to the other side of this thing called life. But anyway, let's, let's, let's not digress. Let's stay on track. Resilient, okay? To be resilient, to be a person or animal, okay, to be able to withstand or recover quickly from difficult situations. Being resilient is not just about going through the situation, but it's about recovering quickly. Sometimes we don't have all day or years to cry and mope and whine about some things. Some things we just got to pick it up, pick up our, our bags, shake the dust off our feet and got to keep that thing moving. Sometimes we don't have time to cry. We got to act. We, we have to be resilient in a situation. We got to keep moving. We got to be able to recover through difficult situations quickly. We don't have time to cry and whine about why the milk was spilled. We got to clean it up because if we don't hurry up and clean it up, it's going to mess up everything else around us. In this season, family, I believe that it is more important that we are resilient, that we are purposely recovering quickly because we have no time to mope at all. Life is passing us by with every single breath that we take, with every moment that we don't pay attention to, with every, every step that we take, the, our life is moving. And we need to be resilient enough to recover quickly from the things that we can't control, the, 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 the foolishness that happens, the, 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 the things that life throw at us that we're supposed to bat it up, kick it up, punch it away. You know what I'm saying? Fight through whatever we're supposed to do to get through it. But we're supposed to recover quickly. We're supposed to take those blows, do what we need to do, and recover and keep and get moving. back to where we are. I want to look at us. I want to look at this uh, scripture. Galatians 6 9 says, Let us not grow weary or become discouraged in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap 
if we do not give up. If we, and I wanted to read this down the improvised what version. What we're going through right now in the present moment is, is causing us to activate a deeper resilience, a deeper courage, a deeper uh, overcoming spirit of trusting God and knowing that all things work together for good. If you allow the moment that you're going through right now, this hard moment, this moment that makes you want to scream, kick, and give up, this moment right now that you don't see any way out. This moment right now that you have to totally trust God. You have to totally stand on His word. You have no idea what to do. Continue to recover. Recover yourself. Speak the word of God over the situation and, and, and praise Him through it. Praise the Lord. Say, Lord, I don't know what's going on, but what I do know is that you are working this situation out right now you are putting together the people and places that i need to go you are quickening my spirit i am surrendering to your plan and purpose for my life so i will go where you tell me to go i will do what you tell me to do i will apologize to whoever i need to apologize to i will let go whoever i need to let go of but i surrender all because I need to activate a deeper resilience. I need to recover from this. And not only do I need to recover, I need to recover quickly. And I need to get ready to, I need to move to the next. We get people waiting for us to be resilient. They're looking at the way we operate and the courage that we take to do the things that is hard. You think your life is just about you. It's not just about you. It's about everybody that's tied to you. You have a responsibility to every single person tied to you to be resilient. And Joshua 1 9 it says, be strong and brave. Don't be afraid and don't panic for I, the Lord, your God, am with you in all that you do. And everything that you do, you can pull the resilience. You can activate the anointing, the 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 the, the resilient, the anointed resilience that we need sometimes to get up off the floor. Bouncing back quickly means it, it can be as it, it's just getting up off the floor. Come on now. Spiritual resilience is the ability to sustain one's sense of self. And purpose through a set of beliefs, principles, or values while encountering adversity, stress, and trauma by using internal and spiritual and external spiritual resources. To have resilience in a situation, a spiritual resilience, because see, I, I want to just I want to activate spiritual resilience. How to to bounce back quickly when things come against us how to move through it how to let your feelings like okay i'm not i'm not, don't don't push it. we're not talking about suppressing we're talking about bouncing back we're talking about dealing with it quickly giving it to god and and and, 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 and saying lord help me work through this thing because as soon as something happens in our lives if we immediately give it to god we're getting, we're gaining resilience because God is going to give us the understanding. He's going to give us the bounce backs. He's going to comfort us. He's going to help us through it. No matter what the outcome of it is, the resilience is us bouncing back quickly from it, understanding and accepting what is, accepting that serenity. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. The courage to change the things that I can and the wisdom to know the difference. That is operating in a spiritual resilience. We need serenity in order to be able to say, you know what? I need to be in this moment. I need to pay attention to what's going on with my child. What's going on in my home? What's going on with my family? What's going on with me? Having resilience, family, bouncing back is about dealing with us. We can't do nothing about nobody else. Our only responsibility is to self. As I do what I need to do for me, it automatically enables and activates everyone around me to do what they need to do for themselves. Come on, y'all. Let's 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 get free. 
Let's be resilient. Let's deal with ourselves. Stop worrying about what other people and I'm telling you, just as sure as I am sitting here right now, when I started to deal with Key, just Key, I'm, I'm, things have been just moving. People seeing me, they I don't even have to try to say and even convince you of anything. Those people that I, I felt like was, I've been lied on, I've been uh, 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 talked about, come on, hated on, still hated on, because you know, in certain places that when we start to know who we are, we're not only activating, we're activating everybody to see us. Let's talk about how do we build spiritual resilience, and then we're going to get out of here, okay? Number one, we got to make spiritual connection. We have to connect spiritually with someone. If you're connecting with me spiritually right now, I, I just pray, just keep coming back. Like, I am not a, a, a preacher. I am a regular person, okay, who loves the Lord, who has been called to just come out here and share my life and my experiences with you all and hope to make a connection too. Hope that you can see something in me and in my life and in and, 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 uh, me being, you know, courageous. I've had to step out courageously to even create this YouTube channel. This was not even an easy thing for me to do. But I, but I felt like, you know, I just, I needed connections. I needed to connect with you all and, and to, to know that, you know, I'm not out here alone. Like, there's other people like me who love God, who who want to connect and who are making mistakes and, and trying to grow in this life and 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 just, I mean, that's as simple as that. I have my businesses that I'm trying to get off the ground and, 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 and be productive citizen. I have a baby that I'm raising and, you know, I, I mean, I just, um, I'm just out here connecting. I've done my natural hair journey, which I, I, I use these extensions, which I absolutely love. Y'all, I might have to do a video because people ask me all the time, like, do you do your hair? Who does your hair? So I, I'm going to do a video. But making connections is how we maintain our resilience. The second thing is to avoid seeing a crisis as insurmountable, as something that you can't overcome, that you can't get through. Oh, and you, you, you can make it through anything. You literally can make it through anything if you keep fighting, if you trust God, if you keep moving forward, you can make it through. Think about the, the hardest thing that you have ever gone through. You've made it through that. I'm not talking about the hard thing you're going through right now. I'm talking about the hardest thing of yesterday. You made it through it. We need to accept change as a part of life. Being resilient means understanding that life is continually changing and we need to accept those changes. Don't be afraid of the constant changing of life. Constantly move towards goals, setting uh, you know, I'm starting to get over the word goals, honestly. And I wrote this word down. But goals is like getting to the end of something. It's like, okay, I made it to this place, now what? I believe that we should set a, a, a mission of things that we want to accomplish in our lives. I don't want to set things with the, the end in mind. And, and we have to accept that change is a part of life. So number one was making connections. Two was avoiding crisis as insurmountable. Three, accept changes as a part of life. Four uh, was move towards your goals. Okay, and this was, uh, uh, or let's not say goals, uh, uh, accomplishments. Let's, let's set some things to accomplish in your life. Let's set some places that you want to obtain some things that you want to learn, some things you want to grasp in your life, and let's go after obtaining those things, okay, so we can just keep moving forward. Number five is take decisive actions. Make a decision and make that thing stick. 
take decisive action. You got to do something. At least you do nothing. Ooh, that just sat at me. You got to do something. At least you do nothing. We have to make decisive actions. You got to do something. Make a decision. Do something. At least you do nothing. Because regardless whether you make the decision, the decision will be made. Life has a way of making decisions for us when we don't make those decisions ourselves. And we might not like the decision that life makes. So if you have an opportunity to make a decision, make it now. Make a decisive, take a decisive action and make a decision. Um, seek opportunity for self-discovery in every single thing that you do. Opportunity for self-discovery is mandatory. It is essential. That should be number one is, is, is to, to seek opportunities for self-discovery. Learn about yourself at every single moment of your life. What did you learn about yourself yesterday? What are you learning about yourself right now as we are doing this video on resilience? Self-discovery. Okay. Number seven is um, nurture a positive view of yourself. Don't think more highly of yourself than you ought to. Don't get an exaggerated, egotistical vision of yourself, okay? Which I can I can literally fall into an ego way. When you know it's like have you ever have taken advantage of something that you have prayed for? And got this ego like it is an automatic thing. It just should be this way. Come on. Have you ever taken for granted? A person, a place, a situation. It's like, it should be this way. Oh, just because you arrived to this level don't mean that you arrived, baby. Just because you are on this platform don't mean that you're not there by God's grace. We can't take for granted nothing in our lives. Because it all could be gone just like that. Whether it's by death, okay, whether you remove from the situation or the situation removed from you, it can be taken away just like that. So let's not think more highly of ourselves than we ought to, but we definitely need to nurture a positive view of ourselves. We can't let anybody down talk to us or, 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 or say that we're not enough, that we're not good enough, that we are nobody and nothing. We cannot. We got to know that we are a child of God. We have to know who we are. We have to know that we are anointed, that we can do all things through, that, through Christ who strengthens us, that I am able to do the things that I am do. I am able to be successful in this area. I am able to say the things that I can say and be who I can be because of the God that is in me. It has nothing to do with me. The blessings that come into my life has nothing to do with me. It's everything to do with, to God, with God. To God be all the glory. I, we have to nurture the positive in ourselves. And the positive within me is all God. So that's what I nurture. I nurture the God within me. Because I, I'm a mess it up. Okay? Number seven. Number eight. Keep things in perspective. We have to keep things in its proper perspective place and I think you know we're, we're going to be diving into this resilience in, in such a way and in these steps I think this was so rich for us this month and so I'm excited that this is our word of the month so we can really just be activating resilience this month. I got some things coming up that I'm going to be taking you guys with me on. Um, I have a workshop that is coming up. The highest best self um, workshop y'all I'm really excited if you live in the Dayton Ohio area definitely come out Saturday August um, 27th um, at Ray's Wine and Spirits um, and the tickets are $20 okay they are $20 um, but it is a um, it's a workshop you get food you get mimosas and you get 
um, to be able to be in the company of myself and Miss Tanya Tyler of Confidence Tries Coffee with Tea. I'm going to put her information in the description box below. She is joining me on this crusade of how to gain, how to gain the wealth of self at any age. And I'm so passionate about that. I'm going to be doing a little mini, um, I'm going to talk to you guys about that um, um, workshop on my next video. So definitely tune in uh, with that. And, um, yeah, guys, but operating res resilience in this season, you know, look at the information in the description box below. Get that information. But I I'm telling you guys, I'm being resilient in this season, and I'm praying that you're resilient in this season, too. We're family. We here. I mean, we're lounging. You know, I, I just talk to you guys. You know, some of the stuff I say, I, I just hope that you just understand my vibe and my flow and um and 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 that you feel like this is coming from the heart y'all my people y'all my folks and so i just um i'm happy to be able to share anything that i can with you and i'm glad that you felt saw this channel worthy of your time and attention and so it's it's, it's late and it's early at the same time and i gotta get my mom up and together help her out and see about the little one school starts next week guys so I'm trying to get my whole new schedule in order and um but I'm being resilient in this season. I'm, I'm on purpose, intentionally, and I'm praying the same for you. Let's keep this thing pushing. Pray for me, because I'm praying for you. You know, pray for your girl, because she got some things going on. And I'm definitely praying for you guys. So I love you much. Until next time, let's be resilient, y'all. Thank you for watching the Pajama Jam here at the Peace Critique. Bye.